Let's move on to question number 7. Question number 7 is important and uh, it's thought provocating as well. Now you have to carry on dehydration on this substrate. Suppose this is a reagent, I can write it only H plus delta, H plus H2SO4 delta or H2SO4 delta, whatever. We All we need is a proton and we need heat for carrying out dehydration. Now carrying out, so what you do, you, you get your answer for this corresponding substrate and then we'll talk about the mechanism. Question number 7 and 8 will, will um, judge your understanding on dehydration and they will judge your affirmation on the mechanisms. All you have to do is play by rules, do as we have been doing. As far as question number 7 goes, the first step and the second step uh, I'm, I'm skipping. After completing the first step of protonation and after completing the second step of removal of water, you will get a plus charge and you will be at this stage. Now either you have to go for the third stage straight away for the acid base reaction and get a corresponding alkene or you have to think if you can stabilize this carbocation further. Now this carbocation is a 2 degree carbocation. If you do rearrangement and even if you do 1 to hydride shift, the carbocation would be rearranged to this position and still that would be a 2 degree carbocation so not much of a difference in stability there. Rather if you look carefully the number of alpha hydrogen would decrease. At present there are 5 alpha hydrogen, 2 on this position, 3 on this position. If we do want to hydride shift when the carbocation comes here there would be only 3 alpha hydrogen. 1 at this position and 2 at this position so stability would decrease so there will be no rearrangement of the carbocation via 1 to hydride shift. Now let's see if there are any other possibility. As, as our notion has developed and we understand that 3 member rings, 4 member rings are highly strained rings, even 5 member rings are strained ring and when these strained rings get an opportunity to expand they never lose that opportunity and go for ring expansion. Similarly here if you see if this bond gets migrated to this position then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon would be encircled or would be participating to form a ring. So from a 4 member ring directly in this case we can have a 6 member ring. There is no problem of distance because there is a bond rotation permissible across this bond. So this group can rotate and come the orbital, the empty orbital corresponding to this plus charge can come close to this bond, parallel to this bond and the transfer can occur easily. So the bond will start to transfer to this position and electronic density will start to decrease here. The electronic density will further increase and electronic density will further decrease and the whole of electronic density will come out from this position to this position. So a complete bond will be formed between these two carbon. So this carbon forms one complete bond so the plus charge would be would, would not be there because there is no more deficiency on this carbon but this carbon from whom the bond has been broken will develop a plus charge. So if you write it properly we have this structure. As you can see between plus charge and this methyl group we have a carbon CH2 group so actually it would be like this fine between plus charge and the carbon having this methyl there is a CH2 so between plus charge and the carbon having methyl there is a CH2 so n now this after ring expansion you have this intermediate and again you have to see if there can be a rearrangement at this position if you see there are four alpha hydrogen two on both the sides if you do rearrangement and take this plus charge on this carbon then on this carbon we'll have two hydrogen on this side and only one hydrogen on this side because this is a three degree carbon so from four the number of alpha hydrogen will reduce to three so the rearrangement will not occur this is the most stable position for the carbocation 
Now we can do the third step of acid base reaction and form a alkene and the final major product would be this. Right? So this will be the answer for question number 7. Fine. Now up till now we have been discussing about compounds having only one alcoholic group. Now as in question number as in question number 8 you can see there are two OH groups. Now two OH groups when there are two OH groups then dehydration will occur on both the groups and it will occur one by one. You don't have to do dehydration simultaneously on both the OH groups because if you go for dehydration simultaneously on both the OH groups in the first step of protonation if you do on both the OH groups then there will be two plus charge developed on the substrate and two plus charge simultaneously brings lot of unstability. Generally a small molecule do not develop two plus charge or two minus charge. It occurs one by one. So at a time it can it can have only one plus charge because of stability consideration so what we would do is you we have to carry out dehydration on one of the OH group and once the dehydration on that is completed then we'll move on to dehydration for the next OH group that's how it would go now in order to reach to the product we just have to follow the steps of the reaction so the first step of protonation has been done in the second step this water molecule is removed so the plus charge will be developed here first two steps over now before we move on to the third step we have to look if the plus charge can be stabilized if the molecule can be stabilized as a whole now here again we can see there's a four member ring whenever there's a plus charge outside a constrained ring a ring under angle strain a strained ring then that ring will always try to have a ring expansion. Here again we can see this bond can expand from this position to this position and form a 5 member ring instead of 4 member ring. So if this bond starts to migrate to this position, electron from here would come out. Further amount of electronic density will go into new position and from the previous position electronic density would come out. So the plus charge on this carbon will not be there and a plus charge on this carbon is produced. So we have a 5 member ring. Now the ring strain has been reduced. So to write it properly we can have a plus charge on one carbon and then cite that the carbon having CH2OH and the carbon having plus charge are separated by one CH2 group. So I have drawn a plus charge on this carbon there will be one CH2 group and after that there will be CH2OH and the pi bond will remain as it is now now you now the plus charge is in the most stable position because this plus charge can do resonance with this pi bond there is no question of migration to the other carbon now we can go for the third step we can do the acid base reaction and we can get a pi bond so if we come we have to complete the third step this b minus will abstract a hydrogen from this position this carbon will get a negative charge that c minus and c plus will form a pi bond so dehydration on one of the oh group is completed now we have to go for dehydration on the other oh group if we complete if, if we follow the same step first step protonation second step removal of water molecule two steps over third step in order to go before th we go for the third step we have to see if we can stabilize this carbocation now this carbocation is a one degree carbocation if we can do something to stabilize the carbocation that would be done before we move on to the third step of acid base reaction now similarly here you can see if you if you migrate this bond from this position to this new position then that 5 member ring would be converted to a 6 member ring and a plus charge would be within the ring so actually we are breaking a bond from this carbon this carbon will have no difference because it is forming a bond previously with this carbon and now it will form a bond with a new carbon so this carbon valency is intact but this carbon will lose one bond 
this carbon will gain one bond so the plus charge from this carbon will vanish and appear on this carbon right so to write it properly first we draw a six member ring draw two pi bonds to the next pi bond and the carbon having plus charge there is a CS2 group in between so there is a CS2 group and there is a plus charge now we cannot further stabilize this carbocation because this carbocation is considerably stable because of resonance with these two pi bonds so the last step will occur now base will come abstract a hydrogen produce a C minus and this C minus will form a bond with C plus so a second pi bond will be formed and we'll get a decent looking stable benzene as a final product. Fine.